guys, this is Basim and I'm back again with this video and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make transparent backgrounds in GIMP. Hey guys, I'm back again with another exciting tutorial. I'm really excited for it because a lot of YouTubers did make to this tutorial and I tried a lot of videos or methods that were on YouTube and a lot of them didn't work. And I actually find the problem, where it was the problem, the problem was in the format of the image, which is PNG for um, transparent backgrounds to, to work with you. So in all videos, they go through the whole process, but they don't show you how to save your image. So today I'm going to go through all details. So don't worry if anything is going to work. I promise you okay so let's get right into it so today I'm gonna be using GIMP 2.0 so the first thing you want to do is go down below hit that subscribe button and also like this video and please get this video to 10 likes I'm really excited for only 10 likes okay and if you got any questions leave it in the comments section so let's get right into the real work of this video okay so first thing I want to do is open uh, GIMP and uh, sure and after that go to file save and click on it after that open not open as a layer okay after that choose the image i'm not gonna choose this one because the car is white you have to choose an image with something in it and the background have colors not in the object in your image because if the same colors in the background is on your uh, object you're gonna make your object transparent or if you got some skills and you can remove some stuff uh, very near to the edges you can go for it okay so i got this new image with blue car and white background so let's open here it is you have to find you should find two windows or two saves opened and if you don't find all of them you have to go to windows save and after that go to recently closed docs and you will find it here so it's empty because i didn't close if i closed one of these guys and go to recently closed docs you'll find it in here and it will open again so you have to use this one and the same as this one so you have to open both of them the first thing you want to do is um right click on your image and go down to add of a channel click on that and after that go to the toolbox and choose fuzzy select tool this select tool is very amazing okay and touch anywhere on the background and as you can see the fuzzy select tool is selecting the background not the car and it's illustrating the car as you can see like that so if you go with uh, the Urcher,
something like that something just like quick the tire is looking awful but no problem just like from far away it's not really appearing now it's time for the last step which is saving you have to go to file and go to export as click on that and this window will pop up and after that you have to choose your destination folder and choose desktop and the format you have to change the format from jpg jpg to p and g like that and after that click export okay choose the quality and you can go to advanced settings and stuff like that and click on export okay wait for that and close it so here we go guys as you can see this it's transparent the background is appearing from it okay as you can see its background is transparent if i move it all around here the object is transparent completely transparent if i open it in white background it will be white as you can see okay and uh if you go to any editor maybe i i will open it in uh, gimp no yeah there we go it's transparent okay no not that one yeah here we go it's a bad it's transparent background you can add anything you want in it which is very interesting so now you're done which actually I'm uh, I'm happy if you commented down below I will be happy if you got any questions if you just just told me that thanks for the tutorial it was helpful because I feel really happy when I I really do take somebody to do something so as you can see it's completely transparent I can you can see the wallpapers through the car uh, through the background I mean and so it worked out it was very easy the problem was just in fixing the format of the of the image so I hope you liked this video I hope it was helpful I hope it was enjoyable and I hope now you can go out there and make some cool transparent backgrounds for your images so thanks guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this tutorial is very amazing also give it a thumbs up and get this video to 10 likes and that's pretty much it thanks again guys for watching and see you on the next video